38 months pong. <sighs> How you going? I'm still in lockdown and I'm bored, really bored. So bored, I've been finding- You don't finding... get it? Yes, it's a microwave. You know when the light turns off at the end? Or the light turns on? Right? When your, when your meal is ready? Guys, guys. Microwave. 46 months Bogul. Like, okay. Ways to make mundane activities more- yeah, This is the last time officially that, that I explained a joke. Last time. More of a challenge and dangerous. I'll never do it again. But so far, haven't found anything exciting enough. <gasps> but then, I saw the experts. <laughs> Mexicans. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna make my version of their hammer. <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> And even guys, though I'm thoroughly sick of guys, what- Guys, now I want to Google it, guys. What is a Mexican hammer? What? I can't watch this. Yeah, this, guys, this has got to be TOS. Guys, they put, like, fucking, like, gunpowder shit. Guys, Okay, yeah, you know what, you guys? I, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Well, let's just watch a video. Stuff. Luckily, today's sponsor, NordVPN, allows me to travel the world wherever I want. Here are some photos of me on my recent trip to Paris. And here's me in New York Key. I've been a Nord customer for years and love the fact that it's easy to use with a single click, allowing me to access over 5,200 servers in 60 countries that gives me the fastest speed of any VPN out there. It also protects all okay. my internet data that's, behind that's, its ultra that's secure that's wall of next generation encrypt. I did probably already know I'm not the first to copy the Mexicans with explosive hammers. And an Australian company, Ramset, beat me to it, making this, which is used to drive nails through brick and metal. And I could just buy one of these, but look at that price, a thousand dollars. I'm definitely better off making my own. So the first thing I did was buy a $2,000 lathe. Okay, so this is my plan. I've collected all the scrap metal in my house, which I reckon I can combine to make this. Oh, he's got the blueprints it's pretty simple. Shit, Just a block of metal in two pieces with a swivel point here. Then you put the nail inside with a charge behind it. And when I hit the nail here, it moves back and hopefully sets off the charge, firing the nail out the end. What? And some of you might recognize some similarities between this and stuff made here's baseball bat. But look, if he's allowed to copy my steel toed croc video and make it much better, then I'm allowed to copy his video make and worse. make it much worse. And that's my idea, but I don't actually think I have the skills to make this, since this is my first time using a lathe, and so far I've only made this. That's pretty much my so whole brand, making so... making the hammer is similar. And unlike this, which is made from round bar and fits in the three-jaw chuck, I'm using square bar for the hammer, which doesn't fit. So either I add another jaw on the side, or use this four-jaw chuck. And this sounds like an easy solution, but when you put material in a four-jaw chuck like this, it needs to be centered using one of these. And I hate being precise. I always avoid it, but now, thanks to this tool, I have the ability to tell how unprecise I am, accurate to one hundredth of a millimeter. This is dumb. I feel like nothing I do makes any sense. I hit this side, and now this side has moved in. And then I turn this thing, and now the whole thing's the wrong way. Wait, what? But after mucking around with it for ages, I seem to have gotten the piece roughly in the middle. So I brought in the tool to do a cut across the face. Oh, wow. And lathing is a lot of fun and really makes you feel like a man with a big manly tool, mainly because it allows me to finally grow facial hair. And that facing cut feels pretty smooth. And after comparing it to my face, it's much more flat. 
Okay, now I'm going to drill a hole in the center of the block. And this is the scary part. Because if it's not centered, all the machinists watching will make fun of me. Now what? There's like how to basics. Yeah, but this guy, guy kind of knows what he's doing though, so. And this sucks. If I can't get the drill bit out, I'm gonna have to start all over. I tried yanking it out by turning the lathe on while holding the other part still, and even tried putting it in the freezer with diced mangoes, which always helps me relax and shrink in size. Oh, I like that. But nothing worked. But then I had a genius idea. I grinded some flats on the side of the drill bit and used this wrench to attempt to turn it out. What? Guys, yeah. you guys not sometimes go outside and have some fun and you come back and then you're hot but you, just, you don't have AC so you put your head in the freezer? Which worked, but I still need to make the hole a little larger. And I've decided from now on I should definitely use a safer approach and use a dummy and some lubricant. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the lathe isn't <laughs> meant to be making this noise. So I just put on some ear protection to fix the noise, and that looks pretty good, and the blank also fits. It's pretty perfect. Okay, the hole is done and seems to be in the center. So I just cut the tip off using the world's most unpleasant tool. And then decided I had had enough of staring at these blanks and wanted to see what actually happens if I just hit one with a hammer. Three, two, one. Yes. And now without ear protection for some reason. Three, Look at it. Two, one. Oh. And I, I don't know why I did that. My ears are literally still ringing while recording this. But I still decided I want to see what happens if I hit it again, but this time with a nail on top. So I put the nail in, then place the blank underneath. And it's very important I do this in that order so I don't accidentally set off the blank and die. Then I hit it as hard as I could. Two, one. And nothing. And again. What this time the I fuck? placed a sharper point behind the blank. And still nothing. And then I tried placing the blank on flat metal and also clamping the device so it doesn't fall onto the ground and then point towards me. Three, two, one. What is even happening, dude? Oh, what even happening in the video? This is so dumb. I think it's gonna blow up, dude. Where's the nail? <laughs> oh, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh, I cannot believe that these say they are weak. I am so glad I didn't buy the strong ones. Let's check upstairs and see if that did any damage. No shot. And that works Good one, a dude. little too well, which might be my fault, as I spent an hour like a sweatshop worker machining like a hundred nails down until I had an airtight fit in the hole of the hammer. And I'm really starting to think I should make myself like a Kevlar apron or something to protect my innards. If for some reason anyone watching has some Kevlar they don't want that they want to send me, hit me up. Okay, moving on with the build, I need to make a Kevlar, hinge between the two a... pieces. So I decided to just use a store-bought hinge, which will attach to the guys, bottom of some flat... What's actual Kevlar, though? It's body armor, right? It's bulletproof. It's not very bulletproof, but you know what it is, you know? Uh, like this. And now it's time for something else I've never done, which is use this tap and die set to create threads in metal. But first, I thought I'd better read the instructions very, very carefully to make sure I don't die. Composite material fiberglass. 
Then, once it was kind of together, I realized a potential problem with my design, which was that the round could go- Guys, I, some guy in the bus told me that it was spider webs when I was a kid, and I was like, nah, no shot. But then I was like, yeah, but it probably is. And my entire life, life, I thought that, that bulletproof vest was spider webs. Go off when I closed the hinge. Which, it didn't. So, I set it off with a stick once again. Three, two, one. Oh my god, it's too powerful, so we're straight through. <laughs> Guys, what What if it tilts in front of him and just one taps and I don't get it? <laughs> and let's go check upstairs again. What? And that works great, but I still decided to swap the hinge out for a more beefy one, which I took from the door of this cabinet. And I like this thing. It's like I'm holding a badly rendered pistol. Oh, now I need wow, to decide actually... on the locks that hold the pieces together. And at first I was going to go with this kind of artistic wanky lock, but I don't actually think it would hold together with That's the for a forces on the hammer. So I went with this sturdier one. Then once I tap and not died the rest of the holes, I've essentially got the finished thing. except it looks really ugly. And after looking online at other kinds of hammers and other stuff, I found this by Adam Savage, which I'm gonna take slight inspiration from. And after all that grinding, I was curious as to how much metal I had actually lost. So I measured it and strangely, I gained around a centimeter. Then I cleaned up the other pieces using my sick tech deck skills from my childhood. And so far, this has actually been pretty easy. But now comes the hard bit, where I grind in the more delicate details and risk stuffing up this whole piece, which I'm terrified about. So I rolled a die to see which piece would be sacrificed first. Now I'm going to try and create an angled section on the side, and I can do this in two different ways. The first, by locking the grinding face at an angle, or I can do my favorite method, which is to lock myself at a 45 degree angle so I'm consistent with my grind. And after combining the two, I created this. So then I just did the same thing on the front to create these cute little triangles, which despite my fears, actually look pretty good. Head. So then I attempted the scariest part, which is a rounded groove cut into metal. Guys, blacksmiths guys, guys, and white smith. If the stream Fs, it's Twitch. Guys, I'm at, I'm at, z I'm at 260 drop frames today. That started at the beginning of the stream, and we've had zero for the entire stream. If it F's, it's Twitch. So. Like to call fullers. Yo. So I tilted the belt at this sharp angle and started. And while doing this, I actually found the best angle for grinding was when I placed my head right here, which allowed me to see right along the face. Thank you, man. I like but that. That's it good also content. means the metal dust gets a good view of my face as well. And after all this grinding, I was starting to create a bit of mess on the floor with all these iron filings. But luckily, I had a mate who told me a tip, which was to place a bucket of water directly underneath the grinder, put, put which in is it. actually great, as it keeps me nice and cool while doing this hot work. Okay, the fullers look pretty good, although it is starting to look more like the G word, which I'm too scared to say on YouTube. And this definitely isn't a G, it's a hammer, not illegal. And it's just a homemade, slightly a dodgy version of something I can buy from stores. So then I switched to this belt, which I found in the bin of a waxing salon. And the tiny hairs stuck to this belt give the metal a really nice finish. A gun? Oh my God, that's smooth. And look at that. I thought G-spot, I don't know why. It actually all looks good, except these little overhanging lips. So I gave it a labiaplasty. Now you're probably wondering how I'm going to stick a handle on this thing. And so am I. I definitely should have planned how I was going to do that from the start, because now I'm just going to have to go with the easiest, worst Looking option, like a nice which piece is most now. likely going to ruin all of this work. And I'm going to attempt to weld XQC a piece of pipe here and then just shove the handle in like this. And after a quick test, cutting another piece of pipe and welding that onto another piece of metal, and then hitting that as hard as I can against an anvil, <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I think it might hold. So I just got a piece real hot, squished it in the vise, and then closed my eyes and hoped for the best. 
and I really hope this doesn't stuff up. This has been my longest project so far and took me a crazy 13 minutes and 59 seconds to get here. And I had to sit through a Nord sponsor and two unskippable ads. So this better work. And after filling the piece up with about an inch of lava, the weld actually looks all right and the piece hasn't deformed. So then I cleaned off the black stuff until it was shiny again and then did some research trying to decide on the finish for this metal. And what I do Can't like is stone washing, where you etch the metal in acid. Then people on the internet will get that metal and put it in a rock tumbler to get this nice looking surface which protects the metal from rust and looks rustic. And I don't have a tumbler, so I figured out another easy way to make your own. All you do is you get your metal, put it in your pocket with some stones from the garden and then put it in the washing machine for about an hour, which gives you this. And I decided I don't actually like this very much, so I'm sticking with the shiny finish. But I'm also gonna copy what every wog that moves to Australia does and cover pointless parts of it in gold in an attempt to make myself look more serious. Then I grabbed some oil and rubbed it all over the wood before using some quick set epoxy and a bolt to lock the handle in place. Now the instructions of the epoxy don't say you have to panic, but I find I get better results if I use the wrong size bolt, yeah, which I then have to cut down and then burn myself on. Please. And his like nails are fucking that cooked. That I'm not going to get the handle in place before the epoxy sets, ruining my whole project. Meaning I'm not going to be able to upload a video in time and I'm going to become irrelevant and not be able to upload on YouTube ever. And it worked. Then I took it back to the beautiful hairy belt to smooth it out. And I do like these hairy belts a lot, but just like the tie place down the road, I find I get much better results when finishing by hand. Guys, I'm gonna, guys and I forgot done. what the whole contraption does. Oh yeah, load the nail in. Open it up, put the blank down, so pull it I down, and smack do one it. One last vice test, just to make sure it all still works. Three, two, one. Nice. I don't know why I didn't place a piece of wood there or something. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> There's no shot. Oh, um. Uh, okay, dude. Uh, 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 I'm very, very happy with that. This thing is powerful and beautiful. Definitely the coolest thing I've ever made. But I just realized that the vise was definitely adding heaps of support on the side and on the bottom of the hammer. So before I swing it by hand, I decided to put it on this rig, which perfectly recreates how my arm works. Oh, no shot. Which didn't work. And again, Then I figured out what was happening. My hammer was working in the vise, but not for the reasons I intended. I thought the nail was moving back and pushing the blank, setting it off, but that wasn't actually happening. Because I was scared and crouching down to make sure I didn't die, I was actually hitting the top of the hammer, not the nail, which meant I was squishing these two pieces of metal together, setting off the blank. So I switched to a shorter nail so that the end of the hammer would actually hit the table. And... Let's hammer some stuff oh, that one. shouldn't be able to. Like, uh, uh, uh mm, th this fry pan. One day the oh my god. Wait! Smash through that easily. That's a blank?
but it is pretty thin metal. So let's move on to some thicker metal, like this um, a barbecue plate, which is a centimeter and a half Wait, that's thick. a weak blank. Far out that was a loud one. Okay, stuck. Whoa. It is punched a clean hole. You can see the punch marks for the way that it kind of blew in the metal out of the back. That is insane. And after that success, I think I'm going to take it off the rig and have a go at hitting it myself. And I'm honestly so surprised this thing hasn't blown apart yet. And even my dodgy weld seems to somehow be holding up. So I stacked up some stuff in front of me and decided to hit, um, this book. Oh. Oh my god, I'm terrified of this thing. Thanks for the way to me. Yeah. Three, Stop. two, Hammer one. Time. Through the table. <laughs> Wait, through it? Went through the book, through the table, through this surfboard I have here, and is sticking out. That is insane. I'm gonna stop playing with this thing. This. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out some of my other stuff. You guys, what about now, chat? He puts a a strong blank, a strong blank, and a long ass fucking like a blade or some shit. Bang! You know, like like an actual nail. You know, like a juicer. This guy's video. I enjoyed this video. This is nice.